One of the scariest situations that an angler can encounter is what to do when you're washed away and you have to swim with all your gear on. It can be done. It's certainly a lot different than swimming without it. But it's a good idea to practice it. Although swimming in waders is not too different than swimming without them, until you try it, you won't have the confidence to react properly in a potentially dangerous situation. The solution is to go out to a piece of water with which you are familiar and go for a practice swim in your waders. Be sure to have on your chest belt, and when selecting a piece of water, make sure it has sufficient eddies and soft spots to both start and end your swim. The key to recovering from a fall is to swim aggressively downstream. This will allow you to see rocks and obstructions and react accordingly. Don't fight the current, and don't try to stand up until you are certain that you're in a spot that's calm enough, shallow enough, and safe enough. The real danger of drowning on rivers comes from being flushed against an object like a downed tree or a rock. The tremendous force of moving water can make it difficult to free yourself from an obstruction. If you are being washed towards an obstruction, the first thing to do is get rid of your fishing rod. As expensive as it might be, you stand a better chance of survival if you have both hands free. Don't panic. Try to keep your head about you. And in almost every situation like this, try to avoid getting swept under the log. You may never come back up. A good tactic to use when approaching a log jam is to be offensive and try to swim right over the top of the obstruction. This is easy to do if the water flows over the top of it and it allows you to buy more time to find footing downstream. Another tactic to use when approaching a log jam is to approach feet first get rid of your rod and use your legs to brace yourself against the log and simply walk your way off the log to calmer water where you can stand up. Getting trapped against a log is a daunting and scary situation. If your legs go under the log it is almost impossible to fight the current and the weight of the water and get back over the log. The best thing you can do is try to get your feet or knees on the upstream side of the log. If you can do that, it's possible to just work your way out of the problem. Another potentially lethal situation can occur in just a few inches of water, foot entrapments. Again, the weight of the water and the current can keep you from being able to remove your foot from the entrapment. And if the water is deeper than the height of your arms, eventually you'll not be able to keep your head above the water. Drowning is a real possibility.